Oh, smash axe. Ah! Square. Oh, good move in the gut. Oh, are we gonna kill him? Good lord. Oh no, we just gonna beat his ass. Yo, to another Iberlezy gaming video. Hello, Toto. Who is this? <laughs> okay, the vertigo. I see you. Yo, what's up, yo? Welcome back to another gaming video. Today I have uh, to bring to y'all the Wolf Among Us. Now, granted, I know I'm late to all these Telltale games. Every single one that they made it came out years ago. I don't care. I'm still gonna play because I don't know any other stories that are as immersive as the Telltale series. If you are not uh, hip to my Discord, go ahead. Check out the link up. Uh, hold on. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Check out my Discord. The link is in the description down below. Uh, if you don't know what Discord is, basically it's an all-in-one voice and text chat for gamers. It's free, uh, secure, and works on both your desktop and phone. Basically, this is a way for you to stop paying for TeamSpeak servers and hassling with Skype. Simplify your life. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, go ahead and, and join it. But if not, cool. Now let's play. Who is that on the screen just now? Big hairy bastard. I don't know his name. Is his name Wolf? What is this? Okay, hold on. The game says... Can you contain the beast within? This is a hard-boiled thriller where the characters of myth, lore, and legend are real and exist in our world. As Big B Wolf, the Big Bad Wolf and Sheriff of Fable Town, you will discover that a brutal murder is just a taste of things to come in, to come in this mature and stylish nor adventure. Pause, pause. Turn around, let me see your face. Okay, so basically uh, this is this is Bradley Cooper's first video game. That's fine. I see you, Bradley. Get your coins. You haven't made a movie in a minute. <laughs> You're taking too many limitless pills. <laughs> You're off that trip, though. <laughs> I've been out of town this past week, so that's why I haven't had any videos up. Um, but that's not important. We back today. It's loaded. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I have been told that this is the best Telltale game, so... Let's hope so. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Big B Wolf protects them from each other. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is like fairy tale crime scene. <laughs> Hold on, you already know what I need to do. Ain't nothing like some good subtitles to play as I'm talking, because I love to talk. All right, y'all, let, 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 let's immerse, let's immerse. Today, again, if you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. Where are my subtitles at? Hold on, I'm gonna let it play. This is kind of creepy, I like this. Low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Big B Wolf. Big B. Big B. <laughs> All right, everything recorded, everything good. The Wolf Among Us. I'm the wolf among us, obviously. Big B Wolf, the wolf among us. Oceanic Airlines, Oceanic Airlines. Don't slam doors, that's rude. I didn't even see you pay for this taxi. Cheap bastard. Was his eyes just doing some Okay, he was looking to the side or something. The tenement building, sometime after midnight. Okay, I'm liking the style. Toads, 251 Bird Street. Oh, uh, look at that look. Uh. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. 
Bigby! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. What? No oh. need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a I'm three... looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. <laughs> if you what? can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. So you can't is a send me up to live with those animals. How you got frog breasts? <laughs> you know what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Glamour must keep them human. I don't make the rules, Frog. Come on now. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. Right. There's too much at stake. Come on, Toad. For it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Damn. Fuck you now. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. All right, I got it. Don't worry. You say less. Probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Instantly getting into some action. New book of fables entry unlocked. Okay, so Mr. Toad still. Very print job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. Okay, this nigga cussing way too loud for me. Let me turn you down. <laughs> You're not gonna disrespect me like that. Niggas is just disrespectful lately. Anyways. Okay, so this is really some fairy tale stuff. Glamour keeps people looking human. Clearly I have enough glamour to to keep me looking like Bradley Cooper. I'm You're still gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. He in there trying to get it in. Let go. Yep, keep that on you. Keep that on you. It's been a minute since I've been on some Telltale. Hold up. The things you pick up can be useful later. Okay, so I got money, a matchbook. Take a good look. Look, use the phone. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. He in there doing something get really. Don't even waste time knocking. Bust up in there, handle business. Okay. God damn you! No oh, way. Whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, Don't... hey! Ooh, you good got move. something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? <clears throat> oh, you. Oh, that's, that's her own blood. I'll fucking kill you! <clears throat> you uh... fucker! All right, why'd you hit? <clears throat> oh! Oh, this dude's strong? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Who is get this? The fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. This is the big show. <laughs> Threaten him. I'm gonna break your fucking face. Yeah. Is that a fact? What's up with yeah, it? That's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. Oh, you got this your ass isn't beat? Last time. Oh, excellent response. <laughs> Go move. Man, take him to the sink and bust his face open. Oh, didn't see that. They didn't show me that. Stop it. Stop it. Man, yo, you weak as... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, his name Woody? What's going on? Nah, slam him against that... There you go. Let me, okay. So we just gonna go straight to a fight. Oh, yep, and then, ooh, stop the stupid ass. Sock him in the head. Ooh. Ah, y'all violent? Let him catch a breather. Let him catch a breather. Okay, now he wanna do some, that's some Rush Hour 2 right there. That's Rush Hour 2, Jackie Chan. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about, but y'all would if y'all seen a movie. Get him off you. Ooh, good move. Punch him in the throat. Um, what's going on? Throw him on the bed. 
Pause. Ooh, in the chest. Ooh, pop, 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 pop. Ah, left. Ah, right. Ah, left. Okay, let me chill. Woody, stop it. You doing all this because you want to beat up on this girl, and you mad I caught you. That's ridiculous. Oh, smash axe. Ah! Square. Oh, good move in the gut. Oh, are we gonna kill him? Good lord. Oh no, we just gonna beat his ass. Excellent job, Big B. Excellent job. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not oh, okay. shit, bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. Mm -hmm. What? Bitch? What <laughs> did I say? Whoops. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Right, shut Fuck up. you. This girl a real, shit. you know who she is. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. He over here paying Look, for- Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Stay quiet. Come on, let's get this over with. She, she's still fine, even though, you know, she do what she do. I'm, I wouldn't pay for it, but... But shit, I can see why Big Show would. You seen him. Uh, what's, what's your, name? your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Right? Sorry, you Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he here? There we go. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. The woodsman? I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open. And filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. What? Huh? How did that happen? Why did he grab you and throw you out? Because I didn't grab him and throw him out? I feel like this is what happened regardless. Don't don't get in my comments for those of you who haven't seen it just like me. Ah, shit. And you killed the woodsman now. Oh my gosh, look at Low. Hey, look, look at Slippy. Oh. Slippy. Yeah. Give me a second. Slippy the to toe. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. There you go. Apologies for smashing your car, Toad. I'm gutted for you, mate. It's a real shame. Now nah, you're a prick, That's though. not you, is it? Got to play the old man role. I'm the sheriff. <sighs> Some things are more important than your car. How are you going to drive it as a frog? Oh, you're not <laughs> fucking dead. Oh, gosh. He's not done yet. <laughs> oh, I know that. Dude, get off me. seen him okay hold on let me read this book of fables mess real quick maybe this will help me understand who the woodsman is who the frog is the woodsman is one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with big men his black forest days and lived the tell the tale in their attempt to save little red riding hood he split the great wolf's belly open with an axe fiddle with rocks and fiddle beast to a river <sighs> tis this made his popularity has faded even his name is forgotten and he is only known as the woodsman 
See, he's a fallen hero. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in Riot and Red Hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Big B now acts as Fable. Wow. Okay, Telltale. So y'all just going... Y'all just gonna make it, y'all just gonna pretend like we just supposed to know this stuff? That we all just grew up reading fairy tales? I mean, I know about Little Red Riding Hood, but okay, what are glamours? Hold up. Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the Mondays. Cheap glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. The farm is home to Fable. Okay, so remember, remember, uh, Big B said, Look, Toad, if you don't change back from that funky frog fit you're in, <laughs> back to your human, I'm gonna throw you to the farm. The farm is home to Fables who cannot pass as human, giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mundies. Human, Humundies? I don't know. To avoid detection. Some of his residents, I got my retainers in too. I'm trying to keep my, my teeth straight, you know? Uh, to them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive, though some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. Mr. Toad, you know, he, we know who he is. All right, we just don't know who this girl is. I guess we just don't care. For sure, who cares? I do. Trying to immerse the best way I know how. That's to read everything. Okay, so we killed him. He's still not dead. The woodsman, he a beast with it. Okay, never mind. He's gone. Ain't that what's her name? Pickaxe from uh, Walking Dead? The blonde? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is you he doing? Getting what he owes me. You're wild. You're right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? He's about to destroy me. Get your coin. Oh, he was broke, that's why. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling it. <laughs> it's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> ooh, 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 stop it, He's stop it. Enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. What was I just watching? I'm gonna get demonetized with that one. <laughs> the circle was get paid or square was stop your money instantly. <laughs> okay, the money stopped. They doing too much. They gonna heal up and just be back on me tomorrow, probably. Mongoose, is that Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise, you, you're doing you're doing enough. You got a movie out right now. Give it a break. And you smoke cigarettes. You're broke and you're killing yourself. What a loser. But I'm gonna light it for her. I'm not gonna give her the whole matchbook. Thanks. I don't even know your name. Who do you work for, really? And what's on your lip? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Okay, them lips is crusty. That's what they are. Them lips is warded. Them lips is herpaic. <laughs> hey, you like my ribbon? Yeah, you look good, but like, what's up with that on your mouth? Uh, stop changing the subject. Stop changing the subject. I know, you John. my questions, I can't help you. Thank you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. Oh gosh, you were John? We you probably would... have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I I'm guess. Tri I'm tripping. She used to I be guess. a fable, too. She a fable, too. She a fable. Did y'all parents really read y'all, like, shit? Well, his license plate said totally. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. Are they over here getting turned on in the middle of the street? 
Did you used to date? Who is this? Was the A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Oh, to her pimp. Damn. I'll be fine. Give her some money. Yeah, give her some money. I know you got it. Let's see. I've got. Uh, you making this big deal? Out? Oh. 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Keep your money. Just take the money, okay? You, know you got me needs. out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Disrespectful. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Okay, well, hold up. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. You see me before. <laughs> hey. What's up with you? Don't kiss me. I need me. to tell you something. Do not kiss me. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, wash your cheek. Disinfect. Unless that's in it. Okay. Wolf. Okay, well. When you get to my apartment, I'm gonna have some Valtrex for you. Cause I don't know what that is on your on your ship. You need to come to my house and have that mess off your lip, right? I, why am I still making that joke? Anyways, I know she just got beat up. That's not funny. But I, but come on now. I'm just saying. One in four Americans. <laughs> Be safe. Don't get don't get caught. The Wolf Among Us. Okay, so the whole game is based around this little this little this little hooker. Telltale Games presents Wolf Among Us. Yeah, this wolf don't pay his rent. Where to beat at? Oh, I'm done. Episode one. Faith. That's probably her name, Faith. I gotta warm my hands up for all those action commands. Oh, this is me, I'm tripping. I push R1, I push L1 to hear his thoughts. <laughs> okay, so let me just get my controls. So there's no thoughts, there's really just, okay. And then right trigger is how you speed walk. I'm gonna walk past his door. You can't, great. You can't enter the gate without pushing the, uh, okay, you gotta- apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. You ashamed of where you live at? Fables created by Bill Willingham. Hello, Bill. Nice to see you, Bill. I know you watch YouTubers play your games, because I know I would if I spent years on a, on a project like Get, get out it get out here yell at her dude don't just stand there and look yeah don't make me come over there don't make me come over there look I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight so just <sighs> sorry Big B didn't mean to be an asshole who is this beauty, beauty. hello Big B I wasn't expecting anyone. Baby got the hose. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Yeah. Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. You're at my house. What are you talking no. about? Can. Damn it. I'm late. What? Bigby, what are you doing to these women? Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. <laughs> Promise me? Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. 
But I have to go. Whoa! Whoa! It's not what you might be thinking. Okay, so they have literally all the old fables. Y'all lucky that Disney and like Pixar and stuff, they be recreating some of these classes. Cause some of y'all younger kids, here I go again acting like I'm so old, but I'm just saying like some of y'all younger kids don't even know about some of these characters. Or y'all probably won't know. I didn't even know about the woodsman. Okay, so Beast live in the same building with me? Me and Beast is neighbors? Little Red Riding Hood, I'm the wolf, the big bad wolf, trying to change my life around. I'm not about to talk to the front desk, but I am gonna check my mail real quick. Been a while since I got any mail. No one cares about you. I do though. Sorry y'all, let's, let's play, let's, let's immerse. What's in, your, what's in your box? Seventh day in a row. With no mail. Hello, sir. Yo, wake up, dude. Hey, you wink? Grimble. Hmm, probably for the best. Grimble, what is this? Yeah, wake him up. Grimble, wake up, hello. Okay. You want some, you, you, you tripping right now. Woodland Directory who live up here. Beast, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. 301. Wait, what? what's my room number? Bigby, Bigby Wolf, Bigby Wolf. You don't even live here. I don't see your name up here. It don't matter. We still, we still gonna go uh, upstairs. So why does everybody live in the same city, the same little town? They all went broke. No, they're not broke. This is luxury apartment. Who is this? Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Of course I avoided it. You see the way he was looking for her? Like, you see the way she was running from him? Huh? You said, you see my wife? I seen her out here hiding in a bush like a crackhead. Bigby's apartment, Fableton. Good old Fableton. Damn. He don't want... It's stinking here, huh? I know he musty. Especially after that fight he just went through. This man walked home after getting his... <laughs> well, he did. He, he won the fight, so... It's not that big of a L. You don't have no towels? But you got napkins. You need a girl in the house. <sighs> what a night. Yeah, I'll say. Trying to get you a beverage real quick? You thirsty? Why do you I got... even own this? Should've what is it? Huff and puff. Damn it. Bluebeard folder. Blue file. Bluebeard, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So they gonna they gonna make me have to keep pushing start like this. Beauty and her husband Beast once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest. See, they did go broke. I didn't even know that. Though times are hard with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Caring wife, concerned husband. 
Beast and his wife Beauty left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He is able to get around Fableton without a glamour most of the time, but if Beauty gets too angry with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. Despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship in their life. Okay, who is this big bald Mr. Clean looking dude? Bluebeard. Wealthy scout. Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fableton government depends on his generous contributions. Okay, so he run things. He, he, he basically Trump. So Trump and, and, and Trump often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, Trump claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. But even if Trump was able to leave uh, Trump's violent ways in the homelands, that has to stop Trump from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. All right, all right. So I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to get. I got a file on him. I got big files on him. Get you some food real quick. Don't even remember ordering that. Okay, well we not even. Probably a bad sign. You haven't even opened. Did you open a window yet, dude? What do you want me to do in this little crap's apartment, dude? Uh, what is that? What is that? Why is he snoring? Slap him. Ugh. Huh. Hey, Big B. If you don't get I'm this... I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, you big... You big sloppy piece of chewing bubblegum. Huh? All right. Uh, just stay quiet. Don't, don't insult them. All right, all right. You big fat pink... Boar. <laughs> He probably cool. I'm a, I'm a chill. Got a smoke? And you smoke. The 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 three little pigs? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Oh, y'all get it? The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. Colin. That for me? This is too crazy. Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Dude, I just want to rest. Get off that of me, dude. That was all you were saying. I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfish- Hold on real quick, y'all. I think the subtitles might be too big. Can't fix it. Oh well. Bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I okay. mean, look at your hands. What's wrong with my oh? Oh well, you know. He had it coming. He Who'd had it you coming. You get to fight with a fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. Oh, is that a threat? Fuck you. Oh. What I look like living with you somebody. Think my job is easy. Who try keeping like a bunch that? of fables from killing each other? How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. 
That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Uh, I don't actually know her name. My fault, awesome. my fault. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. You're making it worse, Wait, though. That doesn't make Just sense. give me a drink, please. <laughs> I'm like, what? enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give him the drink, then. You can still take the drink, though. Pig should not be drinking no alcohol. You gonna die in this little bed you in. Thanks, Big B. How, now how are you gonna drink it? Of course. This is your bed, Big B, this chair? Bruh. I refuse to let this be me. People be getting old and they just and their life just turns into complete trash. Then again, I'm not a fable. Who is knocking on my door like this? I hope you have a peephole, sir. You don't even have no peephole. Wait calling up real quick. You can't even select calling. You're just supposed to, okay. You think it's the girl. I'm already knowing it's not the girl. Oh, it's the girl. I'm tripping. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow White? Hold up. You know, you know, you got to see why Snow White here. Real quick, I'm sorry, who needed? I'm sorry. Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. Uh, after her escape, da -da 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 uh, she married, oh, wow, hold up. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red, and she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for Fables in the New World. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. Okay, so she she political with it. Okay, so she she good now, but she just cold. Of course she is. Snow White, get it? <laughs> Snow. Snow. What? What am I doing up out of bed Sorry. right now? What is it? Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, who is that? Uh, who is that? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. So we just gonna stand in this elevator and not say anything to each other? Oh my gosh. Who is that? What is that on the street right there? Dead? Is that a penguin? Security. Oh. Oh, Grimble? That's Grimble. That's Grimble Jacket. Can you pick it up so we can see if it's Grimble or not? He probably sleepwalking. Lazy bastard. We know it's Grimbles. You got one security officer here for all you enchanted magic fucks. <laughs> ooh, 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 is that, is, ooh, that's a girl. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't. I mean, I'm a working girl. Don't play dumb. Oh. Thank you. Woodsman. 
he attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... give me a second. It's just... terrible. So... tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble? Yeah. Then I opened the door and... I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it. Sorry. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Who are they? I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Poor girl. Poor, poor girl. She didn't even get her money. Okay, so we just gonna examine? She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. Yep, yep. What kind of monster would do this? Uh, the woodsman. I just told you what happened earlier, Snow. Keep up. What is that in her mouth? What is? That tablet of acid? What is that? That a deltoid, bitch? Oh, what is that? It's her ribbon. Oh, wow. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize They're it. They're like a wedding ring. Neither do I. They're like a wedding ring. Um, who did we see earlier? Beast and, and Beast and Beauty? Strange They're suspects. God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Right now, everybody a suspect. I'm just saying. Everybody a suspect. That blood trailed over there. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Finish my nap. We can fix this in the morning, can we? Investigate. I'm just playing. Investigate you more. Still have some time should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I know, you, you know I seen that blood over here. Hold up. Grimble, I'm about to beat your ass in a minute when I come back in there. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Okay, what is this? Fabric. Jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Okay, I see this up here. Fence post, somebody try yeah. hopping. Still wet. Sharp enough. I tried hopping a party to get to, I mean, hopping the fence to get to this party a few years back, and I landed on one of those on my side. I got a scar right here up under my chest. I was about to say breast. Some loose trash. I'm not gonna show y'all though, but just know. <laughs> Them gates is for defense. So it's no, there you go. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? This is for sure a message. This is a message. F without a doubt. A message? I don't know, Big P. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? The placement of the head, look at Whoever it! Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. 
The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Who is Crane? As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Just It'll wait a little bit. worse if he finds out we held it from him. Uh, I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. Sure. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. She didn't answer not one of my questions when she was alive. So foolish. Playing games like I'm trying to get at her or something. Tell me what happened. Tell me what your name is. Why is this dude beating your face in in here? What are you, blind? What, oh. you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? I work here. nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. Fuck it. Anybody trying to hear that bullshit? Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. This Tell me like you've a... been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. This any all... shred of evidence right. you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a leak. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Oh my gosh. I could buy Where a is crane. the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Oh no, you could probably smell it from here with that Brother. big ass snobs on your face. Can't do anything right. He do going like job, this right now. Sheriff. He going like this right we'll now. We'll find someone who can. Or we'll find someone who can. <laughs> you would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... There you go. T take your cig. Never mind. Puff Smoke it in his away. office. Exactly. He gets a morning massage. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. What is, is that? Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Big ass... Oh my gosh, what is this? Big ass green Shrek monkey bitch. Drinking. Hello, Miss Snow. A buffkin. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him. You look like Maybe. a big ass ape nug. Big ass monkey kush. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Demonic monkey kush. 
Monkey OG. Uh, F off. Uh, I'm not great. Hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He Buffkin. knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. The mirror? I'm about to, I'm about to wish that I knew what was going on. <laughs> Worth a try. Yes, that's right. Okay, let me check this book, my own book of fables. Okay, okay, so we already got half the first one already finished. Interesting. I'm guessing this is just episode one, all right here. What is this? Glamour, oh, we know what that is. Okay, these are the Mondays. Short for mundane, Mundy is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to the non-magical and have the humans of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town in the farm keep their minds distracted and dull with, with, within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity or scrutiny of a large group of Mondays, these magical protection charms would overload and fail. As Sheriff of Fable Town, one of Bigby's primary functions is ensuring the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. So Mondays just they did just stupid and they walk around and don't see anything. And they're trying to keep a low profile so that the Mondays don't don't, you know what I'm saying? Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs, obviously. Back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables who couldn't pass through human were sent to live at the farm. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fable Town to bother Bigby. He is always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Ichabod Crane. I don't really care about this dude too much. Uh, Buffkin. Winged monkey from the land of Oz. Okay, now it's Fable Town. Uh, okay, he's stealing the deputy mayor's booze, prone to mischief. Uh, he'll assume he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone would rather have fired him. Okay, that's enough. Boring. Boring. What's this mayor talking about? I want to see something. Show me something good. She over there handling business. Hey, I see Magic her. mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. Is that me? I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, 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 if you're able. If you're able. Come on, tell me, tell all, me all about, about this, this fable. fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? The Green Eye Girl. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Let me hear about Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Oh, she shows me. Oh, he shows me what's currently me going on. Buffkin. Oh, I want to see Woods win. Hey, hey put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Oh, show me Woods. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down the street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. All right. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I don't think it was a woodsman. I'm going to be honest. The woodsman had an axe in his head. How did he just instantly commit a murder? He looks like he's still suffering from that axe. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. All these retainers hurt. Oh. Beauty's pain.
All right, let me, let me go see what let me go see what uh let me go see what Buffkin found. A tarot desk. As in tarot cards. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. So you don't know what that means? Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Right? Good lord. You gonna keep that one though. Ugh. Can we can we get down to, to some business? Oh, here we go, here we go. The back of my head itch. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. I want to know about the, the girl, the green-eyed girl. Okay, here go Woodsman. Hold up, who is this? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. She probably embarrassed. My fault, my fault. That go me, though. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's they... how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. Snow White had something to do with the big bad wolf? No, she didn't. And him. The Woodsman? Yep, and his axe. There go Little Red Riding Hood. What the story was. Oh, huh? Between these two? They was getting it in. What'd you think? Huh, who is this though? Oh, this this Beauty and the Beast. Here go here go Beauty. In happier days. Here go Beast. And her man. Beast. Funny. Uh this is King Cole. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I'm not done with this. Look at, look at, <laughs> look at Colin, Colin fat ass. And his brothers. <laughs> oh my gosh, this toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. Oh, that's Ichabod. That? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I get everything? That the better. Snow White, let me know what happened with you in the doors. You a freak or what? I'ma stop. But I'm still thinking it. Okay, hold up. So we're looking for the symbols. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this the first page or can I go back some more? Let me go back some more. This is the first page right here. Okay, okay. I don't know what none of this mean, but I go to ring right there. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Bring your drunk ass over here then and help me read. Thanks. We what look out for each other. No, no, oh. do it. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Not at all. This taking me back, y'all. Here you go to Woodsman. This looks familiar. Yes. From the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. Yo, yo, what's his name? Blixen? What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. Say it to him. Okay, now nah, never mind. I guess. I guess. You don't want gold? Buffkin. Translate. Buffkin. There we go. I'm hmm. tripping. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. No, go back the other page. Here goes, here, here, here goes Snow White. Of course, we're not reading nothing about her. Why are you so quiet for? Oh, here we go. This here we go. 
Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alalairo? I'll go look it up. You never heard of Ala Ala? Thank you. Every, Every kind of fur in Germany. How do you not know that? Donkey skin. Yes. I don't, I, I don't what know. Does it say? Donkey skin. Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> ah, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Buffkin, yeah. We don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Faith. A donkey? His daughter, Faith. Ew, 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 ew. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh, man. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. Uh, we should talk to the husband. Absolutely. You think he did it? Well, I mean, why is she pimped out now? Uh, we can't rule him out. Absolutely Nothing not. Nothing surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Snow, you got some rings on your ears, girl. That look like that look like real rubies, real crystal clear rubies. Okay, can we make moves now? What is we doing? Let's go. Oh, am I supposed to take this with me? Have I not seen enough? Do I, do I flip to the last page with it? Oh, this was the last page. All right, come on now. Come on now. Let, let's let's make moves, Snow. What are we waiting for? Oh, and that. Oh, oh, oh. Prince Lawrence, I want to know what you're doing and where you are. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. He got vans on? What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Okay, not yet though, not yet though. I want to hear about Show Faith. Me Faith's father, the old king. Where, where is, where? Yeah, I figured. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Why are they showing me Show Faith? Me. Show me Faith. Why are they showing me Through this? powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not <laughs> my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Hold on, hold on. I got one more option. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. 
But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. I'm not ready yet. Let me go check the over here real quick. Let me go check over here real quick. I was about to be mad. No, I wasn't. It's just a video game, but, but you feel me, dog. Yeah, walk faster, you big bag. You know what this means? He do got a big bag. Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Whatever that means. Let's 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 get up out of here. So are we going to uh oh, man, hold up, hold up, hold up, my boy. My boy Jay calling me. RDC World One. Shut out. Everybody go subscribe. Can't can't answer right now, bro. You already know. Niggas is working. Niggas, this is really niggas' jobs. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the Woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. I think we should go to Toad's apartment first, cause cause it's going down right now, and Lawrence is up there asleep with a with a bloody knife by his desk. It might be Lawrence over here at Toad's. Let's go to Toad's. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. 